So, what is this add-ons and plugins in HANA database? Add-ons and plugins are like a additional functionalities in HANA database. Normally, you are installing the HANA DB, HANA, so the database you are installing to store the data. For some HANA system, some applications, some of the SAP, S4, some other applications, it's required the additional features are required, additional add-ons are required here. In that case, so we can download the some additional add-ons. Additional add-ons means additional functionalities. Compared, compared to the basic, then additional functionalities, you can do that one here. By logging to the system service marketplace, check the what is the version of the your HANA add-ons are available. So what is the current version of the your HANA database here? HDB iPhone version. So based on that, so SPS 09, you can download the related add-ons and plugins. You can download it here. H for had Anna. So here, so some of the known add-ons like, so AFL, LC apps, application function libraries here, live cache related app functionalities. Now to commonly use these two add-ons will be used by the business people here, right? So in that case, if the if you have the if you got the requirement, you need to go to the service marketplace here. Go to the H for Hana Hana platform edition here. So you see the Hana database. So other than other database and related things, then you see the related. So see here APL related. This is also one of the add-on. So you can install. You can download the related add-on here. Right? Related. So add-ons are available here. You can see. So you can download the so respective add-ons. You can download it here. Okay, the respective add-on file you can download it here. So then additional functionalities, extra functionality here. Not only this one. So Spark and also there are the Hadoop. Whatever you want, whatever the your client is required. Similar functionality AFL. So then some of some of the like uh, LC apps. So many things are there here. So you can install the additional functionalities and everything can install it. So you download it, right? So once you download it here, right click and just uh, extract it here. Why? Because this file is a small files actually. This add-ons are additional functionalities are small files here. You download it. So then what we can do here, we can move this to the our HANA system, there we can do the, this add-ons and everything, we can install it here. So any add-ons, plugins, so additional functionalities, these all are the additional functionalities here. So we can install it here. Same HDB, ANST or LCM tools only, we can do that one here. So copy this folder from here in the HANA level. Open the WinSAP. Okay, so APPL, just to copy to the ANA level. So anything, copy, download it, copy to the server level, then you copy it here. So now you see, we don't have any add-ons or plugins in our systems, right? So here we don't have anything. If anything is there, then you will get the one, uh, one link here, one field, some add-ons or something like that here. So now using the, uh, now what you are going to do, you are going to install the APPL. Okay, APPL. Just go to the APPL. So then installer binaries are available with that installation package only, which add-on package only. Just to use the HDB INST permission denied. CH mode triple seven star. 
പെർമിഷൻ ഡിമാൻഡ് പെർമിഷൻ ഇഷ്യൂ So, HDB INST, installation files will come as part of the kit only here. So, what is the system SID? So, HDB here. What is the user system? What is the password? So, you can enter the password, right? So, this is going to... This is the AFL and SDK. This, this one is going to install, is going to add to the plugins to the, so your existing HANA system. So this add-ons or plugins are like yeah, additional functionalities. This is going to add to the, your existing HANA system here. So then it is stopping and it will started, it will be done. So like this, suppose if you have any other things also there, then you can install it here. Suppose you want to install the, some lc apps some other things spark controller some anything these all are the some some functionalities sap will will not be included in the existing db versions then additionally separately they will release it suppose some customer they don't require some customers it's required so then why that's why they will install it they will release it here right so then they will some graphics viewer some this one some this one something like that so they will install the some they will release the special things they will release it then we have to install it so then so see here it is restarted then check it out here you see here installed plugins so there is a one plugin got installed here afl sdk the plugin got installed here if you click on here then you will come to know the sap afl related version and everything so when the plugins are there When you are upgrading the HANA system, these plugins also you need to update it here. When you are downloading the latest version, then you need to download the latest version of the plugins also. You need to download it and you have to install it here. That's the thing we have to perform it in the systems here. Okay. That is the thing we have to do that work. Can you go over this process again? So I know we could go and download it. After that, what did you do? So did you not listen that class? No, I listen to it. I, I have just some confusion there. So then what is your confusion here? Just simply downloaded the file. We extracted the file. Then after the extracting the file, extraction, you know, right? Right click, then extract right. all. Then it will generate so the folder. We are not using SAPCAR or SAPSAR here. This is a just zip file. Zip file, why we need to use that one? If it's right. a SAPXR file. No, no, that's fine. So... But we are doing it at the OS level, so we don't have to stop HANA or SAP or anything. So if the file name, file extension, like a .sar, so we need to move the SAR file to the operating system level, then it, we need to extract it, we need to perform it here. But here, the add-on file name is like a zip file. So just to download zip file, you can right click and you can extract it. The extracted file, you can move to the, here, the this level and you can do the So just you can go to the folder level, the media and AVFL, this folder level you can go, then you can just go to the installer file, then just you can install it using the HDB LCM tools. So if you want, like, let me take it out the one more file here. No, no, I got that, but I'm just confused as to we used... Uh... So if any file, suppose some files like a SAR file, suppose example, you see, this what is kind of like file a SAR that file. Use that we really don't have to log into SAP and like we do the SAP upgrade uh, or the software provisioning or... This is uh, a HANA, this is HANA, HANA is not the SAP, this is HANA. HANA, you don't require all those things, some tool and all those things, it's just HANA and so you can just download it and you can install it, that's it. This is just only HANA. So plugins, we can OS level, we can install it here. So what we have to do? Just to, if it is SAP is installed, you need to stop the SAP on top of the HANA database. Then download the this file. Suppose like currently I am downloading the SAR file. This SAR file I cannot extract using the Windows tools. I need to go for the OS level. SAR command, I have to use it. I need to extract it. In that case, I have downloaded now. See here, one more file I downloaded. Then what I will do? Select it, then 
so move to the Okay, this is copied. Then copy these files to the operating system. I cannot extract this SAR file here. In case of SAR file, we cannot extract using this one. So what I can do, I can go to the operating system level with this one. Then, so I can give the permission here. Why? Because this is a copied, I can give the permission to here. Then, so I can SAR file, SAR file, right? So what I will do, I will go to the SID ADM CD slash media. So here SID ADM, you can directly execute the SAP car iPhone one XVF. Maybe this is a SAR file, SAR file extract. Just you need to do it like this only here. So you have extracted here. Then, so plugins installation, we have to perform with the root user. Then there is a folder got created SAP HANA AFL. Just open this one. So there is a HDB INST folder file is there here. So then dot slash installation, right? Installation here. You can execute this one. You can execute this one. It is asking the SID, then HDB. Then it is getting installing the packages to the this one, right? So it is done. So like this, we need to, if it is a SAR file, uh, like that we have to do the package plugins or components installation. We have to perform it here like this. So if it is a normal zip file, we can extract it and we can do the, so that thing we can perform it here. This is just normal zip files, SAR files, so small files, just extract it and you can do the, so installation. In the file itself, you will get the HDB INST. So you can use and you can update it, you can install it here. So AFL, in the tenant also it will show like a AFL related things will show. If we now, if we look at look into the SAP itself, the the NetWeaver instance. So, uh, and when we go into where like what all components are installed, so we will see it in the add-ons, right? Yeah, if it is the SAP components, either spam or Saint or some tool, we have to use it. So it's the HANA database. We don't require to use in a spam or saint. It's just HANA database. So HANA level tools like HDB, LCM tools, we have to use it. HANA is different, SAP is different. So different, different tools are there, different, different ways we have to install it. Any questions, anyone? So what we are learning here is an independent HANA database, right? Yeah, it's an independent HANA database. There is no SAP installed here. Okay, thanks. Hello. Hello. Uh, sir, uh, will there be a session on monitoring uh, using cockpit? Uh, 